The next time you wipe away a spider web, remember its delicate strength. If it were human-sized, it could be strong enough to grab an airliner. And did you know that spiders utilize their silk for more than just web design? They also employ it for hunting, egg protection, hiding from predators, mating, and transportation. Humans have also used silk to help bones recover. But have you ever heard the phrase, spider silk is five times stronger than steel? Is there any truth to this? Spider silk is a unique material. It is the strongest naturally occurring fiber. Its tensile strength is on par with premium steel. It's difficult to truly comprehend the strength comparison between spider silk and steel because of how much smaller spider silk is when compared to something as strong as steel. Helicopters and buildings, structures meant to survive a wide range of conditions and pressures, are constructed from steel and other strong alloys, so it's difficult to imagine something as simple as spider silk being stronger. And for a very long time, scientists have fantasized about creating synthetic spider silk and using it to create a variety of lightweight materials, from surgical threads to incredible durable textiles. However, while manufacturing silk may be simple for spiders, engineers have found it to be quite challenging. As we all know, nature regularly provides materials and methods that aid scientists in their search for new ideas. And right now, a group believes it has succeeded. Scientists now understand how these silky threads get their strength, from hundreds of much smaller strands that bind together to form the sticky trap of this critter. However, it is vital to highlight that spider silk is not only stronger than steel, but is also stronger in many respects. In a moment, you'll understand what we mean. For example, if you have a knife in your kitchen right now, you definitely have steel that is stronger than the strongest spider silk ever documented. However, according to Treehugger, spider silk is stronger than steel in terms of strength to density ratio. In essence, that proves that a silk strand is significantly more powerful for its size than a steel beam. However, tensile strength and strength to density ratio are not the primary qualities of strength, and in these areas, spider silk is no match for steel. Another crucial characteristic of strength is stiffness, which measures a material's capacity to alter shape elastically whenever a force is applied. For instance, stiffness, which assesses a material's capacity to alter shape elastically in response to stress, is a crucial component of strength. Spider silk isn't quite as stiff as steel in this situation. Additionally, spider silk is very ductile or very flexible. It can absorb three times as much energy as Kevlar before breaking because of its flexibility and the amount of power required to break it after it can no longer stretch. So how do spiders do it? The quick response is that the silk initially exists as a liquid known as dope, literally dope. However, this sticky gooey mixture of proteins is changed in a matter of seconds. It also does not just transform into a solid. The protein building blocks that make up silk twist and weave as they leave the spider's bottom, forming a highly ordered structure even without the aid of any outside force. The complicated molecules known as proteins are what give living things their shape and functionality. Spidroans, the proteins that make up spider silk, start out as a thick liquid in the spider's abdomen before being formed into a thread. The resulting arrangement of silk protein molecules forms a repeating tiny structure known as a nanocrystal. These crystals, which are a few billionths of a meter yard wide, are what give spider silk its strength. The strength of the silk thread increases with the number of nanocrystals in the fiber. And one of the main issues that has hindered scientists for so long in their inability to produce fibers with enough nanocrystals to create silk. To understand this, we just need to go back a few years to when a scientist at Washington University named Lee attempted to merge two sets of spidroin proteins. They were successful in obtaining a structure containing many nanocrystals. But because Lee's team was aware of a certain protein that could facilitate the formation of crystals, they questioned what would occur if they they combined amyloid with spidroin to create a very lengthy hybrid protein that would easily form nanocrystals. This combination was referred to as an amyloid protein polymer. Polymers are essentially substances or materials made up of very massive molecules called macromolecules that are made up of numerous repeating subunits. And in research labs, bacteria have been producing proteins for many years. 
Lee compares the bacteria to tiny factories that produce proteins. So, in order to create its hybrid protein, his team explored using these single-cell microorganisms. They began by inserting a bit of foreign DNA into the bacterium. They chose Escherichia coli, a bacteria found in your stomach. They pick a banana spider or golden silk spider for the DNA. In the woods of the southern United States, these females create some of the biggest webs. Their webs are supported by dragline silk, which looks like fine floss. Because of the way its proteins are organized into each strand, dragline silk is essentially a Herculean variety of spider silk. Therefore, they opted to modify the spider's DNA first before deciding to transfer it to the bacterium. After that, they received the hybrid protein they had hoped for. Then they attempted to convert it into a powder, but Lee said that when it clumped, it felt like white cotton candy. As a result, scientists have not yet been able to duplicate how a spider spins its web. So they adopted a different strategy. Finding a way to integrate the necessary quantity of nanocrystals into the synthetic fiber was one of the mysteries of the development of the researchers' most recent silk material. The researchers inserted additional amyloid strands with a higher potential to create the necessary nanocrystals in order to increase the number of nanocrystals in their material. The protein powder is first dissolved in a solution. This is meant to resemble the fluid silk seen in the abdomens of spiders. The solution would then be pushed down a tiny hole into a secondary solution. This causes the protein's building pieces to fold and form fibers. If the silk solidifies too quickly, it may block the system and cause nightmare-like webby constipation. If you wait too long, the mixture might vomit shapeless fluids. As a result, time and efficiency are critical components of the silk spinning process. But after it was all done, to put its strengths to the test, the engineers tugged them like there was no tomorrow until the fibers snapped. They then documented how long the strands lasted and stretched before snapping, and what they discovered was rather astounding. When it came to their findings, scientists discovered that the new hybrid silk surpassed the majority of normal spider silk in both strength and hardness. The study is noteworthy because it offers an understanding of how silk is spun. The fiber's strength, which is around 1 gigapascal GPA, is also greater than that of some naturally occurring spider silk fibers and even Kevlar. The material's average toughness, which the scientists tested at about 161 megajoules per M3, made it harder than certain naturally occurring spider silks. On the other hand, others may say that this is not really spectacular. It isn't even as robust as mild steel. So, since the strength they measured is far less than the ultra-strong spider silk that is frequently claimed, what precisely have they created? It's crucial to understand that toughness and strength are different things. Similar to strength, there are various ways to measure toughness, but in this case, we are referring to the amount of energy a material absorbs during a tensile test, in which it is tugged until it breaks. The greatest spider silk ever discovered has an average hardness of 354 megajoules M3. Is that an upgrade over steel? Ultimately, it largely depends on what you mean by steel. Even if the statistics are impressive, there are superior steels. But as we mentioned earlier, we are referring to toughness rather than general strength. To be honest, scientists still don't understand this mechanism well enough to reproduce it. It is a largely unexplored territory. They think their study may eventually enable us to untangle one of nature's most resilient substances. Spider silk can be spun in a variety of ways, both within and across species of the same spider. Although silks are most commonly associated with the construction of webs, they can also be used to attract males, guard eggs, or even let roving spiders catch a ride on a fleeting breeze. And if you've ever considered becoming Spider-Man, we recommend the dragline silk because it can hold a small adult. Furthermore, the researchers said there are still tens of thousands of amyloid sequences they can investigate, indicating that their content will probably get better in the future.